what's really interesting is when you look back in our history, we were founded as the Soil and Health Foundation. So that was the original name that J.I. Rodale gave to the Rodale Institute. He called it the Soil and Health Foundation. Mm. Fast forward to today, some 75 years later, our message is, res is resonating with people now more than, more than ever before. Because we're living at a time in human history where I think consumers are waking up to the fact that soil health and human health are inextricably linked. I'm Jeff Katch. I'm the Chief Impact Officer here at the Rodale Institute. And it's my responsibility to make sure that our organization is maximizing its impact in the world by helping farmers successfully transition towards organic and regenerative organic production methods. And that's how we view success as an organization. You view success by the impact that it's having on the world or Tell me more about that. That's precisely right. So at Rodale Institute, we're a global nonprofit that's trying to fix the food and agriculture system. And we really see that our success, our mission, is measured by whether or not we're ha helping farmers to move in a more positive direction. Mm -hmm. uh, from their, the way in which they produce food to the way they manage soil to, the, to their profitability. We want farmers to be successful and we want them to fully embrace regenerative organic production. You know, Thus, that is our impact. That's amazing. Like we, I've heard different people at the Institute tell me about the role that they're playing and what are the science that's being applied here and that's being shared. Uh, but I guess you're in charge of measuring also some of that and promoting it and, and doing the outreach on it, which is, as a communicator, that, that's, well, that's also who I am as a farmer and a communicator. It's a big role. Are you, uh, are you, uh, are people hearing this message enough? So this has been the most exciting time in the history of Rodale Institute. October marks the 75th anniversary of this organization. Uh, what's really interesting is when you look back in our history, we were founded as the Soil and Health Foundation. So that was the original name that J.I. Rodale gave to the Rodale Institute. He called it the Soil and Health Foundation. Mm. Fast forward to today, some 75 years later, our message is, res is resonating with people now more than, more than ever before. Because we're living at a time in human history where I think consumers are waking up to the fact that soil health and human health are inextricably linked. Yeah. So as more and more consumers wake up to the idea that I want to take better care of myself, I want to live a healthier life on a healthier planet, it all goes back to farming and it all goes back to J.I. Rodale's original mission. So in many ways, this organization is more alive than ever. 75 years into That's it. It's amazing. I was looking at the library of books of J.I. Rodale and most of them are, so a lot of them are pre-World War II and what, what I didn't know, because I, you know, Rodale is a brand and it is a staple name of it's synonymous with organic, but I didn't know that it was health. Mm. Like that was all new to me and all the books in the library, most of them are on health. Pre-World War II, a lot of older books on health and I, I learned that that, that was the, uh, the motivation to get into farming and to talk about farming. And I think that's coming, it's making a comeback. Well, I feel, I feel like that is the collective conscience right now. I think the global pandemic uh, really exposed a lot of things for a lot of people. I think people really looked inside of themselves. And what they found there is that my health is actually in my control. Mm. What's so fascinating to me is that we all remember what happened in, you know, in, in March of, uh, in, of, you know, March when we all got sent home and we, and, you know, the, if I could go back. The um, pandemic. Yeah, the pandemic uh, in sort of the early days of the pandemic. Yeah. What was so interesting to me is the first couple of weeks you went to the local park and it was packed. Everyone came out to the park. I mean, parks in my community that would have 10 or 20 people on a weekend had hundreds of people. Yeah. Uh, grocery store shelves went bare, but all of a sudden farmers market sales were up 420% year upon year. Uh, the National Gardening Association projected that 22 million new gardens were planted in that spring. Yeah. And so all of a sudden consumers woke up to, wait, my health is in my control. I can take to my backyard and I can return to nature. And all of a sudden I'm more empowered than ever to have a positive impact on myself and on the world. And so that's why it feels like Rodale Institute's time has come. Our founder, J.I. Rodale, he did, he, he launched this organization because he believed 
that his own health was in his hands and the way that we produced food was everything to us being a healthier society. And all of a sudden, seven and a half decades later, the rest of the world seems to be on board with that idea. Yeah, that's exciting. I know that you guys also at Rodale have plans to have satellites to, so that you can spread the work and, and the mission of, of the institution elsewhere. Is that something that is full steam or where is that? Yeah, so the, in the United States, uh, President Abraham Lincoln, all the way back in the 1860s, I believe, established something called the land grant system, whereby each state in the United States would have a university that focused on agriculture for that state. And the intention was, is that farmers, whether you were a small scale backyard farmer, or a large scale grain production operation, you'd be able to go to your land grant university to get advice and help and science that would enable you to do what you do better yeah. and more profitably and more ecologically sound. However, what we've watched over the last 50 to 70 years through the post-World War II and advent of the industrial agricultural revolution, many of these land grants, most of them in fact, have sadly been co-opted by big ag interests. And so now if you're a student um, at Cornell or I don't, you know, or any land grant, the education being taught there is in many ways endowed by these big chemical companies. And so there's a lot of influence that holds those universities back from being able to teach regenerative organic methods. And so Rodale, as a mission-based, impact-based organization, we've come up with a model that says, hey, why don't we become the land-grant university for regenerative organic agriculture for all of the United States? And farming here in Pennsylvania looks very different in Maine than it does in California or Iowa. So our goal is to go into several regions of the United States and set up research, education, and consulting hubs with the goal of really fulfilling that the void that the, that system has left. And so, yes, we're doing it. We're now nine campuses, uh, eight of which are in the United States, one in Europe, and we're putting um, science on the ground there to meet the needs of farmers in those regions, and then teachers and educators to take that science out into the world. Amazing stuff. Can we bring one to Quebec, uh, to Montreal? Yeah, you, you need to learn French. <laughs> that's the, that's I was hoping trick. you would help with that. <laughs> How about you yourself? Mm -hmm. You know, why, why? Why be a part of this? Like, mm -hmm. what's in it for you? Mm -hmm. Oh, me personally? Oh, yeah. Okay. Like, what what gets you up in the morning, and why is this important for you? Okay. It's funny. Uh, the Japanese have a word for that. Have you ever heard the word ikigai? Ikigai. Yeah. Well, so that that which gets you out of bed in the morning. Ikigai. So yeah. what, so can you say like, what's your ikigai? My ikigai and why I do what I do here at Rodale Institute is because this place has had a profound impact on my life. Uh, in many ways, it's saved my life. Um, so as we talked about over a wonderful dinner last yeah. night, you know, I've, had, I've been on my own journey, much like you. Mm -hmm. um, my journey was informed by a really terrible health collapse about six years ago. Um, now, I had been around the Rodale Institute peripherally for, for well over 15 years, and I've known about this wonderful organization. But when I went through my own human health collapse and saw the perils in our medical system and how those perils parallel that which is broken in our agricultural systems in the United States, it was a seminal moment for my life where I realized that um, food was my medicine and that soil health and human health became a real idea for me. And what actually healed me was when I changed my diet um, and, and began to seek out regenerative healthcare methods, uh, I began to draw parallels between my own personal health journey and the work being done here at Rodale Institute. And I walked away from a former uh, life, a former career, and I have given the rest of my life to this work because I believe that um, everyone needs to know what's happening here at Rodale and everyone needs to be a part of this journey because we all eat. Mm -hmm. We all sit around a table three times a day. And frankly, it's the most important act happening on the planet is consuming food and doing that in community and uh, I think it could heal all of us and bring us all together. Amazing. Alex? Yes. <laughs> I'm just very moved by this now. Yeah. What did you take out of your diet? Uh, well, it's funny because I had this moment. You'll appreciate this. I, I sought, to di I sought don't out... Don't wine, please. You know, I did. <laughs> I did. I, did. I know, man. I don't drink much these days. Yeah. Um, I do like wine too. I like natural wine. And I know yeah. you do too. I was reading about that in the latest issue last night. Um, I, went, I, I, I sought a doctor. I sought out a doctor who to this day is my doctor. Okay. And he practices a form of 
of uh, medicine called functional medicine. Nadine is also a big proponent of this. But we uh, sat around his office table and I was a shell of a human at that point. Completely sick. Zero answers. Went through six doctors, spent tons of money. Got, I was six months into this whole ordeal and my doctor said, he finally figured out that the culprit was chronic Lyme disease. And I said, okay, well now what? Do I take an antibiotic? You know, what medicine do you have for me? And he's like, no, 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 you don't understand, Jeff. He's like, it doesn't, like Lyme disease is a very complicated illness. He said, you're involved with that organization called Rodale Institute, right? I said, yeah. He said, so you know something about organic farming and how it works, right? I said, yes. He said, we're going to farm your body back to health. And, I, and it was like, I knew exactly what he meant. He's like, we're gonna like start from the soil level of your body and we're going to farm you back to health. And so it became a, like a multidisciplinary approach where it was diet, teaching me how to breathe, move properly, acupuncture, infrared sauna, uh, IV therapy, um, anything but medicine was what he had to offer to me. Mm. And it worked and it worked, mm. so. Taking the fertilizers out. Absolutely, and using biological methods instead of chemical methods. Beautiful. I should mention to you that uh, this fall, in October, taking a page out of J.I. Rodale's playbook, you know, when he said that healthy soil equals healthy food equals healthy people, Rodale Institute is embarking on something that's never been done before this October. We're going to be launching the first ever healthcare conference on a farm. So, you know, most doctors have to go through, doctors and nurses and medical professionals have to go through continuing education. And normally that means they get a stipend from their employer, from the hospital they work for, yeah. and they get sent to some terrible hotel in Las Vegas in a fluorescent lit conference room with air conditioning and they learn about health. Well, we're flipping that paradigm on its head and we're gonna say, hey, we're gonna invite all of you doctors to a farm here. Yeah. And we're gonna do four nights and five days of lectures and amazing meals. And we're gonna get your hands in the soil and we're gonna take you out on the farm and teach you about agriculture. And we're gonna give you a true lesson in healthcare from the soil up. So we launched this conference uh, with, an, with a press release, not knowing what the demand would be. And we had hundreds of applicants. Our, we're well over capacity for the conference. And we're so excited to bring together the leading minds in agriculture and human health with the goal of trying to reinvent, reinvent healthcare. So we're really excited about this. It's amazing.